as many serious-minded people know, to find a good spouse is no easy matter, especially if you are a devout Christian. In fact, according to the Church, marriage is a holy covenant by which a man and a woman establish between themselves a partnership for the whole of life. Moreover, it is also one of the seven sacraments and therefore one of the most important moments in the life of the faithful in their decision to follow Jesus. Pope Francis recently said, Christian marriage is not merely a big ceremony that is done in a church with nice flowers, fancy clothes and photos, but a sacrament that takes place in the church, which makes the church by establishing a new domestic community. Marriage is a long trip that lasts a lifetime. In the Middle Ages, a tradition arose which sees Antony as a real promoter of marriages. In actual fact, we find nothing specific on marriage as such in his sermons. However, in some ancient biographies of St. Anthony, we read that many destitute girls turned to him to ask for a dowry and a bridal trousseau, which were necessary at that time to get married. In one of the many, many, many popular biographies on the saint, there is uh, the story of a girl in Naples uh, whose family could not afford to give her a dowry. In despair, the girl addressed uh, her prayer to St. Anthony, who miraculously made her find a note on her bedside table. In the dream she had during the night before, the saint told her to take the note to a well-known businessman. The girl did as the saint had indicated and gave the note to the businessman. When uh, he opened the letter, he read that uh, he was to give the girl a number of silver coins that weighed as much as the sheet of paper. The businessman smiled. Surely a piece of paper won't weigh very much he thought to himself. However, to his great surprise, 400 silver coins were needed to match the weight of the note. It was then that the businessman realized that years before he had promised to give exactly that sum of money to St. Anthony's bread, but he had not kept his promise. The girl was then able to get married with a good dowry and St. Anthony received, among the many other titles, that of Saint of Marriages. The tradition of turning to St. Anthony in order to find one soul's mate is well known in Portugal and in Latin America. Pope Francis recalled this a few years ago during a friendly meeting with a group of students from Padua. In Argentina we have great veneration for St. Anthony. He is the patron of girls looking for boyfriends, the Pope said in an off-the-cut video which soon became viral. The saints stand next to God and never cease to intercede for us. If therefore you are looking for a good spouse, turn with faith to our dear St. Anthony and he won't let you down. And so now we pray together. Dear St. Anthony, you know that many of your devotees have a strong desire to meet someone with whom they can share their lives. We pray to you to help them to find their soulmates. We have faith in the plan of love that the Lord has set for each one of us. Help us to open our souls and our hearts so that we may be able to recognize his plan of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.